Welcome to Excel Magic Trick number 333. Hey, if you want to download this workbook and follow along, click on my YouTube channel, then click on my college website link, and you can download the workbook, Excel Magic Trick 332 to 334. Hey, in this trick here, we want to primarily see how to deal with errors in formula like divide by zero. But there's another great thing we're going to learn too. This is a spreadsheet someone gave me. Let's just look at this formula right here. We have contracts, and at the top we have some expenses, and here are the expenses, and these are all variable expenses. And every single day, this person was entering the number of variable expenses. So this formula was trying to sum up, as it copies down, $9 times 5 plus $7 times 3 plus $10 times 1. So the pattern is this whole row times this whole row, and the, both the rows are, have the same dimension. And then they were dividing by number of contracts to get total uh, per contract. Well, this formula. Uh, is terribly inefficient because we don't have to do all that. We'll just use the sum product. This uh, one by however many this is by uh, the same dimension here, one by however many that is. If you have that situation, you could just use sum product. So let's see how to do that. Equals sum product, and the first array is this, and so I'm going to highlight that right there. And I'm going to hit the F4 key, because that one, as we copy this down, uh, all these subsequent relative ranges need to be multiplied by that. So I'm going to lock it with the dollar sign in front of the number reference. That's the first array, comma. And then this array right here. And this is a relative cell reference. So close parentheses. So that formula will work just fine all the way down. Con uh, control Enter. That multiplies, but what we really need, F2, is divide by, and then we have our number of contracts, which is a relative cell reference also. So that formula right there, Control Enter, double click and send it down. And so that's a much better formula about it. How do you deal with that divide by zero? I'm going to show you two ways, 2007 and then 2003 and earlier. I'm going to copy this. In edit mode, control C. And now, 2007, totally awesome. You use the if error function, if error function. There it is. And if error is great because you just put your formula there. And then, comma, what do you want in the cell if it, this first part comes out to be an error? Now, you could put 0 or blank or no contracts. I'm going to put in, in um, double quotes, no contracts. Whatever you wanted here. If it's text, it's got to be in quote. If it's uh, zero, you just put a zero. If it's a blank, you just put double quote, double quote. Control Enter, and double click and send it down. Double click and send it down. So now it says no contracts. Now the 2000 and uh, three method or earlier say if and then you say use whoops equals if and then we're going to use the is error the is error function this one right here uh, that one includes all errors including n a and then I'm going to control v that puts that formula there. so the is error is a true false function it delivers a true or false to the logical test in the if, it's looking at this uh, function. So anytime it comes out to an error, it will say true. So if it is an error, I'm going to put comma. That means the value of true is for when that's an error. Uh, I'm going to put uh, blank this time. So double quote, double quote. You could put a 0. Comma, otherwise, if it's false, which means is error comes out false, which means there is no error, control V. The problem with this in earlier versions and the way reason they invented the if error is because for bigger formulas, that means you're having to uh, evaluate through both uh, this formula tw two times. And so with big formulas, it takes a lot of time. Control Enter and double click and send it down. The difference there is just formatting. All right, uh, there is if is error and the sum product. And then there is the awesome if error. All right, see you next trick.